copies here that I would um, distribute to the borough. Uh, <coughs> council members, it's already on file with the municipal clerk's office. Uh, I've listed a computation of those that did uh, submit their reports with the recycling materials, those and those that I think um, should be filing reports that did not. Uh, we send out, or the borough office sends out notifications based on the mercantile list of applicants, and I believe that that has to be um, one source, but I also believe that some of the records in the tax office have to be utilized uh, when we get our new um, recycling coordinator. Uh, that should be one of their um, one of his responsibilities to um, make a more, um, I would think, a more composite list. Um, I think that uh, some of those non-filers, such as the gas stations and um, some of the apartment units or, or housing units and so forth, uh, I have recommended for the last three years that the ordinance that we have on record that uh, penalties be levied based on uh, the non-filing and I'm making that request again for recommendation again this year. Is that something we can use in the official form? Maybe we have a little bit of a force to it. Well, we did. We chased down to the main. in my house. <laughs> I got fired, so. Welcome. And Tuesday morning, you call everybody. And I think about that. We got a few, we had a few additional ones filed, but um, some of these, um, there's, there's no reason that they should not file if they know what the law is, especially uh, when you contract with your, your development homeowner's development and you contract with a contractor, uh, that contractor knows that they're supposed to file a recycling report. <coughs> that should be done. Cheers. Uh, it's, it's an issue that's really going to have to be investigated and as long as we're going to have a certified official for starting next year as mandated by the state. Um, and we're talking about Bob in a great time. Yeah. He's been going to school for yeah. And I would be willing to sit down and work with the with Bob um, to make sure that we can work on these. I've met with him in the in the and he's kept me up to date on some of the things that were he was learning in the classes uh, that he was taking and and so forth. Uh, uh, but this, like I said, it's mandated by the state. We have to have so much certification. No He's going to look at the recycling no report. Sure. And then you know what you're looking for before. Yeah. If you don't mind that. Mm -hmm. It's a problem. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, other than a recycling report, as I reported before, uh, I will be picking up essays from the students in the two elementary schools in the middle school um, on the 27th of this month. Uh, and hopefully I'll be able to, by the next meeting, indicate to you who are successful winners are. Uh, we will be doing awards again. Um, the middle school students will get their uh, awards at their graduation ceremonies. Uh, that's the thing right now. Do you know what that is? Middle school finishing or is that small? June 2nd, I believe. Second. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, do you want to tell us about your vacation here, Councilman Schultz? Yeah, that's great. And then Tom will follow you with his vacation. And then Chuck will follow you with his vacation. Yeah, I think you're due for a vacation, man. Um, the uh, governor recently signed the law, the uh, Municipal Consolidation <laughs> Study Commission, which would allow with voter approval, along with uh, uh, application of the government for 
the governing body for local finance board for consolidation purposes. Um, there's a bill moving through the Senate that would require all local authorities and commissions to post more detailed information on their websites, or if they don't have a website, to create a website and put more information on there, including budgets, their missions, um, all uh, head staff and stuff like that. And then finally, the um, mayor, the League of Municipalities has been asking, I'm not sure if you heard about this or not, but the League of Municipalities has been asking mayors to sign on to a letter calling for the, the state to give back or start repaying the energy tax money back that's supposed to go to the energy tax. tax. Statutory that's supposed to come back to the county. But they consider it state aid, but it's not really state aid. Yeah, that's that's um, been a constant battle yeah, been between the League of Municipalities and the state. Yeah, so there's 135 mayors. In Monroe Township, the mayor of Monroe Township down there says that his constituents will contribute about $2.7 million this year. And in the last 10 years, that's losses of about $10 million of that. So, they haven't given us those in 10 years. You see, one of the mayors of Burris, one of the workers of the Bruin Borough, is the Camden County Mayor's uh, rep to the League of Municipalities. He's passed the president of the League of Municipalities. And he's constantly, in every meeting, he's on the subject. Well, so, I have a letter here from him about it. Yeah, you don't mind giving that to me? Yeah. Or if you have to mention it, yeah. Thank you. Anything else, speech? That's all I got. Thanks. Thank you. And vacation is free. Thank you. Welcome back, Tom. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Uh, public Works. Uh, I'd like to talk about Public Works. They're working on Beckman's Park. They're going to break the Memorial Day holiday. Uh, they're going to redo the flower beds in red this year. Uh, it seems to hold up better than the black. Similar to what we have out front of our hall. Uh, they purchased all new flags and we replaced them prior to the holidays or parts of the very nice. And they're continuing on the uh, lease schedule and working on patent bubbles. That's about it. Thank you very much. Councilor Martin. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. A um, couple of things. The, uh, as you all know, in the uh, bills, we uh, contract with a new company to design our new web page. Um, you know that it's, it's a uh, <coughs> web page wasn't designed to commit it to take public, public information, it's pretty much a static type of web page. So with this particular um, web page, we'll be able to more easily um, perform records, um, minutes, and a uh, pretty interactive calendar. It's also going to be linked to um, Facebook, Twitter, and RSS. I don't know what that is actually. Is that a Michael or something? Yeah, like I guess. Yeah. But hmm? it's, it's another electronic gadget that I don't have. But uh, it, it'll allow for media notification if you sign up, if there's a change on the web page, which I thought was really important. Something that our other web page didn't allow for. If somebody signed up on, online, they're going to say, you know, your web page is. Uh, when web pages change, that they can, um, they'll be notified, so they can go up and take a look, you know, if it's minutes or if it's a calendar change or something like that. So I think that's a, um, that's an important piece. Um, we're looking for, uh, before we have our, our meeting, um, I sent out an email, but I'll ask council again, um, whatever sorts of forms, whatever section, whatever sorts of things you think need to be in there, um, I'll act as a clearinghouse for that. Um, if you send it to me, uh, and then that way, I mean, we could all certainly talk to the people that are designing it, but I'd like to have some kind of a, uh, some kind of a uh, collection of information and ideas so you can put it together. Um, the goal is, if I, if I remember what he said correctly, you should never be more than two clicks away from what you want. So uh, using public safety, you'll be able to click on public safety and have a line that says, you know, police department, fire department, emergency management. And then you can click to get into that section. Um, so I look forward to uh, work with that. The other thing is we're going to try, we're going to get a new email set up somehow. Um, the email system we have is horrible. Uh, in my opinion, you can't um, you can't remotely access it. You can't access it from any place other than this building, and uh, there's a whole lot of limitations. And the way things are now, you should be able to get that. Information. 